everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we are painting a landscape using acrylics. It's been a long time since I've used acrylics, so wish me luck and let's go. For this painting, I used a limited color palette. I started this painting at my dad's place, so I didn't want to bring a lot of paint tubes. I used the three art paints, which are professional acrylics, in the colors Burnt Umber and Burnt Sienna. I also used some student grade paints from the Dessa brand in red, blue, and yellow. I found that the three arts, three arts or tri arts, I don't know. I found that the three arts paints that I have are thicker, less liquid than the Dessa ones, and I think I like them less because of that. I like working with more fluid paints since I'm not looking to create textures in my paintings and I feel like the Dessa ones just mix better. Here I moved you a little bit closer. As you saw, I did a rough sketch to have a general idea of the composition. I then did a light red wash to have a warm undertone. I'm not sure if it changed anything in the end, but oh well. My goal for this painting was to try out plein air painting for the first time. It looks so fun and I thought I could easily find an interesting subject to paint at my dad's place. I quickly realized the challenge of plein air painting. First of all, you need to bring a lot of gear. Other than the paint, paintbrushes, easel and a canvas, you need a table to paint on, a chair, access to water to change your paint water when it gets dirty, a rag or some paper towels to dry your brushes, and I was filming the whole thing, so I also had my camera, mic, and tripod. I was lucky the house was right next to me, but I wonder how people do it when they go in a park or any other spot where you don't have access to water or a place to sit. Another challenge is the changing light. I chose this spot because of the beautiful early morning light, but I realized the lighting quickly changed. Good thing I took some photos. One last thing is that the first morning of this painting, it kept raining on and off, so I had to move my stuff back inside a couple of times while waiting for the rain to pass. In the end, I had to end this first painting session earlier than expected because it started raining a lot more. Now is the second morning. Another thing I realized is that the lighting conditions in which you paint are very important. When I looked at my painting inside, 
I noticed that it was way darker than I thought when I was painting it outside. I had to lighten it a little bit during my next painting session. Now I thought I could tell you about plein air painting. As per usual, I only did this research after doing the painting. There's many things I could have done if I knew this information beforehand, but what can you do? So, what does plein air mean? Plein air is a French term that means outdoors or in the open air. So plein air painting is outdoor painting. I saw that sometimes it is pronounced plain and other times plein. I can tell you the correct French pronunciation is plein, plein air, or plein air. People have been painting outside for centuries, but the French Impressionists have made it popular, which I guess is why we know this art form as plein air. Why do people paint outside? The reason is pretty simple. Being outside and connecting with nature is very fun and relaxing. You also have to make quick decisions because lighting can change, as I myself realized. Some painters choose to finish their paintings in their studios, like I did, but others are way more hardcore and consider it done when they leave their outdoor painting spot. That I could never do. At least not now, because I'm way too slow. Or maybe I could, <laughs> I don't know. I guess I have to try. Some interesting tips I found. 1. Be prepared. Choose and organize your palette while considering what you will be painting. You can pre-mix some colors to save time. Obviously, you can do that with acrylics because the paint will dry, but if you painted with oils, for example, you could do that. Choose a limited number of paint tubes. 2. Start with a toned canvas. White canvas can be distracting and make judging values more difficult. 3. Consider doing your painting in one sitting and calling it done once you leave. There is no need in creating a masterpiece. Plein air painting is more about enjoying the process. So that's something I could work on. 4. Clothing tips. Wear neutral colors to prevent sunlight from reflecting on your painting and influencing your perception of color. Wear a hat to protect your eyes and stop glares. Wear neutral colored sunglasses because long exposure to the sun can be damaging to the eyes. Neutral colored sunglasses will not change your perception of color as much as tinted ones. I also saw the opposite tip, which is to not wear sunglasses during plein air painting sessions, so I guess it's the painter's choice. 5. Be mindful of the sun. You can start painting in the shade, but find yourself under direct sunlight a couple hours later. It can get very uncomfortable. I also found some interesting information about the painting techniques to use while painting outside. I wish I knew about them before painting this one, but that makes me want to do another one even more. First of all, the goal is to paint quickly. If you're too slow, lighting can change and the magic can disappear. To do that, you can use washes and blocking techniques to cover the canvas. Map the rough shapes first, do an underpainting if you want some specific color to show through the painting, identify your lightest and darkest areas and then the middle values. Paint the dark shapes first, connecting them together if you can, and then do the light shapes. Instead of rendering every detail perfectly, focus on one or two interesting details on the reason that made you want to paint this scene. So identify the focal point and build around that. There's no need for a super detailed painting, like the one I did, you can keep your brush strokes large and loose. Do not overwork your painting. As I said, knowing all of that now, I kind of wish I could start over. I would work way looser, I would focus on the chicken coop and work with shapes instead of tiny details. 
I'd also like to try one with watercolors. I feel like it's easier for me to work looser with this medium compared to acrylics. But maybe it's because I'm more used to watercolors though. So I guess the practice with acrylics is good. If I were to start over, my goal wouldn't be to end up with a finished, fully rendered painting. I think I would try to do it all in one sitting. Who cares if it's unfinished compared to my normal standards? Plein air painting comes with its own standards and that's what makes it fun. This time, I guess I can say I did a plein air painting, but only because I was outside. I didn't have the plein air mindset, but I still had a lot of fun, so that's all that matters. Next time will be even better. As you saw, we are now back inside. I wasn't able to finish the painting at my dad's place, so I based the rest on some pictures I took. Sorry about the lighting, acrylic paint is more reflective than what I'm used to. I think you can still see well enough. Overall, I think I'm pleased with the result. Knowing what I know now, I think the result could have been different, but still, it's a nice painting. It had been a long time since I painted with acrylics, so I had a lot of fun. It's fun to have painted a scene that I see every time I go visit my dad. So overall, I had a very good experience and I can't wait to start again. I'm gonna leave you to it. I'm gonna leave you with some music. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, please leave a comment and subscribe if you're not already. Take care and I'll see you soon.